Thursday, Thursday evening, Thursday night, 7 o'clock. Time for the country's creative toolbox. January the 21st, 2021. Good evening, country's creators, co creators. How y'all doing tonight? Come on in. Getting ready for tonight's session of the country's creators toolbox. It's uh, Thursday. Thursday, 7 o'clock. Every Thursday, we kind of get together and you know, take a look at our creative abilities, creative patterns, and fine tune them, tune them up, sharpen them up. Just kind of get familiar with them. Figure out how to use them, how to best use them, how to get the best out of them, out of the, out of the use of our creative, creative powers and creative abilities. Real range of the thing. And I'm listening to some background music. I'm not sure. But anyway, we have no right to the music. Facebook, we want Facebook to know that we have no right to the music. We just enjoy it. And we're going to turn it, uh, turn it off. I just want to get started. I get myself going tonight but anyway good evening and welcome to the conscious creators toolbox for thursday january the 21st 2020 hi metra hi metra how you doing <laughs> gotta get together with you girl hope the family's well and happy new year anyway tonight is thursday it's conscious creators toolbox seven o'clock opportunity to take a look at your your creative abilities your creative powers take them out of the toolbox Take them out of the bag, you know, and, and sharpen them up, fine-tune them. Get to know how to use them better, how to use them more effectively. Because we need those. We need those to purposely, on purpose, with deliberate, you know, with purpose and deliberate deliberation, create and manifest the life that we want, that we desire, that we were destined to come here to to experience and to and to have. And and we, we need we need every bit of we need to be aware of all of our creative abilities and creative powers so that we are we can uh, do our best at, at this creating and manifesting thing. You know, we're here. We're here to enjoy and to learn and to experience one another, experience life and to manifest life. We're here to make stuff happen and create life. Uh, so anyway, tonight, tonight we're talking about um, your higher your higher self. We're still talking about that. That's what we're talking about in January. We may kind of fold, roll it over into into uh, February too, because you know February is a love month, and um, you know self love is actually the, our first love. So um, we might we may you know kind of roll over uh, our higher you know looking at our higher self uh, into February. But we haven't decided for sure yet. But anyway, tonight we're talking about it, and we're going to be actually talking about. Mm, connecting, connecting with our higher self and communing with our higher self and communicating with our higher self. Uh, you know, where we, we, we have, um, we have the, uh, ability and the, and the, and the power and the know-how to actually, uh, you know, g gain guidance, guidance and directions and directives from our higher self. And we're going to talk a little bit about that tonight. But before we get started, again, I want to say hello to everybody. Welcome you to tonight's session and just remind you what we're all about you know we look at our creative abilities but we also confirm and affirm who and what we are who what and whose we are we know that we are co-creators we're co-creators we're co-creators with the universe with god with father with divine with each other uh, we understand that you know we can't create and manifest anything on our own that we have to have at least two people somebody else involved in it so we are co-creators and we are created by the creator out of the same stuff that creator is created uh, created of and from and 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 we can do and and uh we can do and, and we have the same powers and same abilities and we can do the same stuff we can do the same thing that creator father god the universe divine the great i am a higher power can do uh god withholds nothing from us he has a uh, god gives us the ability and the powers to do and have whatever we desire, you know? And somebody said, anything? I said, yeah, anything. Good, bad, or indifferent, you know? It's all up to you. It gave us that free will to choose and decide what we want to do and how we want to how we want to live our lives and live out our lives. We want to, you know, take the high road. We can take the high road. We want to take the low road. We can take the low road, you know? Father gives us that opportunity. We just have to make sure that we're, we're woman enough, man enough to reap 
whatever whatever the consequences are of those decisions and those choices that we make. And most of us are. Most of us, you know, you know, we 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 uh, we take you know, we take we take we, t- we, t- we serve the consequences when we have to, I'm sure. Uh, at, at least conscious, conscious folk, would, conscious and awakened and aware folk do that. And, you know, we, we sometimes we, you know, we have to pay the popper, you know. We reap what we sow. Uh, and that's part of who we are, what we are, and whose we are. So tonight, 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 I'm excited. I'm, I'm excited. I'm always happy to be here. It's been kind of rainy in, in, a, in metro Atlanta today. Uh, kind of a rainy kind of day, kind of lazy kind of day. But I was studying. I've been studying most of the day, getting ready for tonight. So I am I'm getting ready for that. But before I get started, want to make some announcements. But I'm going to hold off just a little bit. Let me see. I want to make sure I've got everything covered that I wanted to cover. Yep. Sharing. We're sharing about our higher self this month. And uh, yeah, that's what we're doing. Okay. My name is, I'm Jean Aaron, accountability coach and a spiritual teacher and mentor. Um, and like I said, we're going to be talking about our higher self and just that part of that, that part of us that is aligned and connected with our maker, with our creator, with our core. Uh, and so, you know, and don't get confused because um, we talk about who and what and whose we are, but the truth is we are all one. And the fact of the matter is we are never disconnected from creator. Uh, I, I talk about, you know, connecting and making that connection. What, I'm, what I really truly mean is becoming aware that you are connected and become aware of that part of you that remains connected even when your, your consciousness and your awareness is off, is off worrying and, and concerned about other things. Your higher self is always connected, always connected to source, with, the power, with father, with creator, with with God, with universe, with divine, with the great I am, a higher power. So that that part of us, we, we're talking about that this month, that part of us that is always connected to the core, to God, to Father. We're going to be talking about that, and we're going to be talking about um, actually communicating with it, how we how we communicate and make the, once we make that connection and and we get in a practice of connecting with uh, with our higher self and and how we actually communicate and commune with a higher self. So we're going to be talking about a little bit about that tonight. But I want to make some announcements before I get started. And let's see. I want to make sure. That, yeah. I want to make announcements. I want to say hello to ITC, my folk, my friends and family at ITC and Interfaith True Center over on Austell Road in uh, Austell, Georgia. Uh, they are... I'm kind of under their umbrella. We, I, I serve, I serve under them. We, we, um, before COVID, we were off in the center every Thursday night. But COVID, we're doing virtual, virtual services, virtual meetings, virtual workshops and training. So I'm, uh, we're, we're virtual, but I'm still under that umbrella. And I want to say hello to them. Let them know that I'm here on Thursday night, as usual, as always, um, spending some time teaching. Uh, sharing about our creative abilities, our creative powers, and, we, and uh, the, with the Conscious Creators Toolbox. So I want to say hello to them. I would like to announce that I will be speaking on Sunday, their Sunday, their morning, their morning service on Sunday morning, uh, this Sunday at 11. Um, it will be broadcast if you, I think I'm going to broadcast, it's going to be broadcast on, on, on our group page as well as, as uh, their group page. But if you'd like to tune into them, I think they are Interfaith, Interfaith Truth, Interfaith Truth Center dot com is um, their website. And then you can, you know, they're, they're going to broadcast from there. And, and I think they have, do have a group page, too. But we're going to be pro- probably broadcasting it or I'll share it with um, with you guys as well. That's on, on Sunday. But I want to say hello to you guys and I want to invite you to, to their website. Take a look at their website. Find out some of the other programs and services and workshops and and classes that they have over there they are a, a metaphysical gift store metaphysical um gift gift shop so they have crystals and 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 books and um just just all types of metaphysical cards you know oracle cards uh, tarot cards uh, they offer all types of cla- uh, classes yoga uh, tai chi um they do some training on card reading and teach you how to read the card, how, how to do tarot readings. 
um, they have a, a Reiki share, which is a healing service. Every a healing, um, I think it's a light. We call they call it a Reiki, Reiki share, which they have healing with the light. Light uh, light workers get together and do some energy uh, healing. On um, I believe it's on Friday night. On Friday nights, but you check a look at their website www.interfaith.com. Uh, take a look at all the everything that they offer over there and um, some of their gifts and. Some of the products and things that they sell, and they, they, I know they have products for smudging. If you are, if you're a smudger, if you like to, you know, clean your clean your area out from time to time, they do have products for that and material for that. So, give them a look. Give them a look. See, give them a look. See over at the Interfaith Truth Center. Um, dot com is their website. You can check them out. But I want to say hello, and I will see you on Sunday. We'll see you all on Sunday over there at eleven o'clock. Also, want to mention again that we do have a, 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 a we have a channel, a, a white YouTube channel. I'd like to invite you to take a look and um, maybe subscribe to our channel. You can get um, all of our previous. We we do try to upload our, all of our workshops and all of our sessions that we have at, at Conscious Creators Toolbox, as well as uh, we upload the Sunday seven at seven our mini life coach session. On Sunday, we uh, upload that as well, so you can get that uh, that information and in those sessions. You want to see those videos again? You can do that on on our YouTube channel, and it's the same as our our Facebook page. It's Team Conscious Creators with the Blue Man. I think we still have the Blue Man logo there. We also have an Instagram Instagram uh, appearance as well, and Twitter, Twitter again, and all of them are Team Conscious Creators. So you know, check us out on uh, all of those venues and. Uh, you know, just see us. And again, we will be speaking on Sunday at uh, ITC on Sunday. I don't know what the message is going to be yet. Probably something about love. Uh, February is coming up. And what I'm doing, I'm speaking every fourth Sunday starting uh, actually in January going forward. I'll be speaking on, a, on the fourth Sunday of every month. 7 at 7 on Sunday at 7, 7 o'clock on Sunday. 7 at 7 on Sunday is a, life, uh, is a mini life coach session. It's an opportunity to get, you know, kind of get some... Um, Get a free life, just get a free kind of mini life session, life coach session with a life coach. Uh, we talk about, you know, just things that will help you manage and cope and and deal with all the craziness that's going on in and about us. So take a look, check us out on Sunday afternoon, that Sunday evening at 7, 7 for 7, 7 at 7 on Sunday. Also like to let you know that I am a life coach and... I offer free consultation. So if you are interested in, you know, just finding out what, what is a life coach? What is, what is that all about? What is, you know, how could it benefit me? I'll be happy to help you and, and, and share that with you. Tell you what, uh, what we're all about and see, you know, see if, you know, we can help you out or, or provide any support for you in any way. But give me a, a look-see. Uh, my website is, is also teamconsciouscreators.com. Um, you can find my website there. You can also just info at jeanerin.com if you want to just contact me directly or message me message me on the uh, face on the group page as well. You can do that as well. Reach out and work something out. I do Zoom. I do phone calls. I do uh, WhatsApp. I do, you know, we, we do the face-to-face. -face so we don't have to, you know, we, we do social distancing. So I do those sessions as well. We do have vir virtual sessions as well. So if you're interested, give me a shout for that. And that is my announcement. I think that's all I have to announce tonight. Again, welcome to Conscious Creators Toolbox. You are co-creators, created in the image of the creator, created out of the same stuff that creators created of, and you are one with creation. And we, we cannot ever, ever, ever be separated from creator. And we can never, ever not create because that's what we are. We create, we manifest. We create our lives and our destinies, and whether we do it on purpose or we do it, we sit down and map things out and we strategize it and come up with a plan and focus and intentions and work it out, or we just do it by happen happenstance or chance or whatever, and then we we find out, oops, we we, we did we oops, that's that's not what I wanted. Then we have to undo it and redo it again. But you know, with um, stick around, come visit us. Uh, you know, check out uh, Conscious Creators Toolbox, and we will help you identify uh, those things, those areas where you fall short in being the master of your own destiny and being that, cre that creator and that manifester 
of your life and, 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 and getting, getting the life that you want uh, rather than the life that you're stuck with or you just happen to, you know, this, this is just how it is. And that's okay because we can always redo. We, we're constantly, constantly creating. I was talking to a friend of mine yesterday on, on, and we were talking about manifestation and she says, I think I finally got it, Jen. She says, I finally understand that what I do right now is actually affecting what is going to be later or tomorrow or next week or the next minute or whatever. I said, that's pretty true. What we do now is actually manifesting our, our outcome to be, the things that, that are to come. So, you know, we get upset sometimes that things turn out like they do. But the fact of the matter is, oops, we did it. Okay, we did it. We manifest our own destinies, our own life. We agree. We agree with other folk. If they're, you know, mapping out things for us, we agree with them or disagree, whatever. But ultimately, we are the manifestors. We are, we, we are who we are because of who we are. Okay. So anyway. So tonight, your higher self. We talked, we talked about, we've been talking about it the past couple of, um, couple of Thursday nights. And uh, tonight, we're going to keep going. But I want to just remind you that your higher self is that higher dimensional aspect of who you are and I don't want to get too technical but it's, it's just that part of you that is that is in complete alignment with God with divine with the great I am with source with creation with universe it's that part of you that's always and forever connected and like I said you it, and it's all you it's all you but what we do is we have this we have a, a our conscious kind of fluctuate between, you know, being, you know, you know, just aware, totally aware and, and, and knowing what's going on and, or, or going back into the past or, or, we, you know, we go off into the future. We're, you know, we, we, our, our conscious minds and our awareness kind of goes, you know, fluctuate all, all over the place. But the higher self, that higher part of us, that dimension that's always connected and always aware of who, what, and, and where it is, or whatever, that part of us, is always, it's always connected to source. It's always and forever connected to source. So I want you to understand, I want, I really want you to understand, and that part of us, we are, in, in, the, in the 3D, we are kind of dual, you know, we kind of dual. But that, um, that, that higher self is just, it's not, it's no duality, there's no illusions about it, it is totally outside and above 3D. And 3D is the physical. It has. It's totally. It's not physical whatsoever. It is. It's. It can. It can. It can operate and 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 have its have its being in 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 uh, than the natural and physical. But it's not physical. It's spirit. It's um. It's energy. It's just energy. You know. I I tell people that um, you know thoughts become things, and that's kind of like that's kind of like the same concept. It's um. It's a it's spiritual. It's a spirit. It's that spirit part of you, that intuition, that 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 God piece, that God part of you. And again, it's all always, always you, and it's always, always connected to God. And that 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 in itself makes us one with God. And basically, we are all connected to one another. So as we're one with all, we're one with everything. We're one with all. Uh, through that higher self and that God piece of us, and it's uh, like I said, it is a part of us that's a, that's aware. It's that part of us is aware of its oneness, it's aware now of its connection with the source, connection with each and everybody and everything, and uh, it's part of infinite. It's 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 eternal. It lasts. It goes on and on forever. Our bodies may you know go back to the dust and the and the, and the ground or whatever. But that eternal part of us, that spirit part of us, that higher self will live on into eternity and forevermore, just as God. And it is God. It's God. It's God's source. It is the part of you that is aware of the specific purpose and the reason that you're here. It, your, your higher self knows why you were incarnated or you came into this 3D to have a particular unique experience and it knows exactly what that experience is supposed to should be and is or was when you left to come here to to make that decision to be here 
it it holds all of that awareness and that information. And all we need to do is figure out how to make that connection with that higher self to understand who and why we're here. Why are we here? What's the way, what was the purpose for us being here? To experience life, of course, but we have a specific, something specific to be, to accomplish and to, and to, and, and, and a purpose for being here. So that higher self understands, knows that, knows that without a, without a, a doubt or a, don't forget it and, and it keeps it, maintains it. So all we need to do is connect with that higher self if we have a desire to know our purpose for being alive in this day and time and, and in this season of, 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 of the world's existence. And we all do. Everybody has a purpose. We came here for a reason. We were incarnated into, into the physical to have for a specific reason. And our higher self has that understanding and that, know, that knowing. And is also aware and, under, and, and, and that awareness and that understanding, again, we're able to connect to, that higher, to our higher self and, and gain an understanding and a knowing of what that purpose is. And it also, that higher self, supports that mission, whatever that purpose is that we have come here to do. It supports, it supports us accomplishing it and seeing it through and seeing it done until before it's time for us to go, go back to source or go back to God or go on into, further on into eternity. This is, and it's also the key to, to us being the captain of our ship. Of our of our destiny of our of our lives, our the connection with our higher self helps us have the fullness of life. I mean, we you know we can bungle around and stumble around and, and here and there and hit and miss because we don't really understand why was I born? Why was I? Why was I? Why, what's my purpose for being? We all have a purpose. We do. We can bumble around without knowing that for a, for our whole life. Uh, and we can die not knowing it or not accomplishing it or, or seeing our mission or seeing our purpose. But if we want to really know why, you know, why was I born? Why, why, why am I here? What was my purpose? What is it that I'm supposed to accomplish? Or what was my mission and purpose for being here? Then connection, making that connection with your higher self is definitely a way to find that out and, 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 and get on with the the business of, of your life and your being. So tonight we're going to talk about that guidance. We're going to talk about how the higher self, once you're connected and we, you, you maintain that connection, you practice that connection, how, that, how, how you can receive that guidance. And talk a little bit about what that guidance does and can, can do for you and, and, and helping you manifest the, the life that you want or the life that is fulfilling to you that will get will get you through the, your purpose and your mission for being being here. So how how your higher self provides or is is your personal guidance to fulfill or to help you fulfill and have a prosperous and joyous God filled loving full of light hope and you know all the good stuff in life that that's what we kind of kind of be talking about tonight. To how your higher self can guide you into all the wonderful things that ha that has been that's your destiny that has that was planned for you before you got here. So here we go. We're gonna talk about that. Now you know what? Like last week we talked. We did talk about you know some of the benefits for connecting and and guidance is gonna be it's one of them. And so first of all, first we have to you we have to really make connection. Make that connection. And before we can even make the connection, we have to be aware or understand that there is, that there, that it exists, that, that higher self exists. And I think that we probably all do because we have intuition and we do have those, those nudges every now and then or those synchronicities that happen to us in life or, or we can sit around and we can sit and, and, and kind of feel, feel kind of another presence or something deep something deeper than, or something that you know is other than you, that, or, or the, that your, your, your 
awareness or some, you know, it's kind of like you sit around and you feel like, I mean, I don't know. I, 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 may, I may be the only one that does this, but do you ever feel, sit around and you, you're thinking and you're feeling like somebody's watching you? You know, somebody's, you know, you're not, you just don't, you know, I'm, I'm here alone and I feel like somebody's watching, you know, I feel like somebody's observing me. And that, that's what that higher, that's what, that, that is the feeling that you get or that nudging that you get or that, or that urge that you get from, um, from your higher self, because it is an observer. It's that, it's that it just sits and it observes, it sits and waits, it sits and, and, and just be until you become aware of it. And, and it's almost like a little child in a way that uh, just, you know, patient, patient, no, not really like a child. Most kids want to, you know, jug your, jug your, you know, jug your shirt tail or whatever to be noticed. But with your higher self, no, it sits and it patiently waits and observes and, and just wait for you to acknowledge or to become aware of its existence, it, that, that it's there waiting for you, just waiting for you to, to be your friend, to be, to be that part of, so you're never alone, that part of you that, that is the core of everything, that the gift, it's, it's your, it's your, your essence, the essence that ties you to every and every, any and everything. And more than, more than, I think with me, when I think of my higher self and I make that, I do this, I have this practice and I do try to practice connecting because it's the only, it's the only way you got to, you know, communicate with, with your higher self is you have to make, you make, make it a practice of connecting with your higher self. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make a connection or reconnect to your higher self. And again, you're, you know, it, you just have to be aware because you're connected. You're there. You're always there. But your your mind and your life and your situation, you're off into, like I said, you go off into the past worrying about something. You're off into the future. Or, and and you just, we rarely, rarely take the time to recognize and to honor who we really are and what we really are. And to do that, you get the opportunity to connect with that higher self. Now you have an innate, something that's already built into you. It's a link with your higher self. And to connect with it, all you need to do is simple as simple as just clearing your mind, relaxing, getting rid of all those crazy thoughts and things that are swarming around in your head all the time. But silence your silence your thinking. Quiet those, you know, get get stop that train of thought that's going. Calm down, relax. And just really make sure that you're in the present moment. You're not thinking about yesterday or 10 minutes ago. And you're not worried about what's going to happen tomorrow or 15 minutes from now. You, you've got to be present. You've got to be, you've got to be in the moment. You've got to be in the now. Because that's, the, that's, that's where, that's the only place that your higher self exists. That's the only place it exists. And it's the only place it, it has its being. Is in the in the current in the present, it, it it's aware of the past, it's aware of the future, but it has its its being in just like you, just like we do. We have our being and our and our life. We live our life out in the present. When we're back in the past, you know, we're wasting you know we're wasting precious life time for living because we're one you know we're you know off in the past, or we wander off into the future again. We can't, the only life that we can live is in the now. So that's where you are going to have your, that connection with your higher self is in the present. So you calm yourself, you relax, you honor the fact that you are connected, that you are, you have, there's a part of you that is an eternal being, that's a spirit being. You honor that, you recognize that, you acknowledge that, quiet yourself, clear your thinking, Quiet your quiet your little your little busy mind. Tell the ego to take a break. <laughs> Ego's always gonna be, you know, what you doing? You know, you know we gotta do this or you know you can't be spending too much time here because you remember what you got you know you got this appointment tomorrow. You know, quiet all that, quiet all that. And sometimes they take a little work to do that, and it, it and it's a practice. This is something that you have to practice. That's not something that it's just naturally gonna come. You have to deliberately 
make an attempt to connect with your higher self. Quiet yourself, relax, get rid of, you know, all the chatter in your mind. And one of the, I think one of the things that I do, one of the ways that I do it is concentrate on my breathing, okay? Because you're breathing, when you're, when, you're, when you're thinking about your breathing and you're counting your breathing, you breathe in the present. You, you are aware, you're right here in the present, you know, counting those breaths or, or inhaling and exhaling and, and, and being, being mindful of your breathing. That's one way of doing it. Another way, another thing that I do, I use sometimes is I just quiet, I kind of get everything nice and quiet and I listen for sounds. And again, I, to listen, to listen, I have to be present. I can't be in the past. I can't be in the future. I have to be in the present. In the present. So I find things that station me, that anchor me in the now, and that's what I pay attention to. Now I can I can get lost in the sound sometimes. So what I do is, I I deliberately listen for a sound. Once I identify it, I let it go, and I listen for the next sound. And that's how I stay present. And eventually that that's just a habit I, I, I kind of a, a habit I get into a practice I get into just to kind of center myself and to anchor myself in the nail but once I get I know that I've got all the chatter you know still my mind is still my mind is quiet the thoughts are you know at a, at a yeah they're stopped they have, they have kind of you know kind of put them at a out of distance but but I have my mind or my concentration on my breathing or listening to a particular sound or a feeling. Sometimes I sometimes I'll look, I'll listen, or I'll watch for, wait for certain feelings that or sensations I feel in my body, like uh, uh, did my eye twitch? Okay, uh, or why is my why is my my tummy tight? You know, I kind of stay trying just anything I can do that I know that it was it's it's happening now. It's not something that happened before or to be, but it's happening now, and I attend to that just to kind of get myself quiet and focused and present and anchored in the, in the nail. But then I, what I try to do is I try to just relax, again, relax breathing and just wait and see if, if my higher self will, will contact me, will, will, will reach out to me because uh, trust me, your higher self is waiting to be contacted, to waiting for waiting for communication with you. So, if if and if you've opened an invitation or you left an invitation for for your higher self, it will come, and and, and you'll get a nudging. You'll get you'll get some inkling or some feeling or some something unique. And it's absolutely it's absolutely different for all of us. I think I think that all of us have a different feeling or a different sensation or something unique about the connection with your higher self. Mine is a, a, just, a, just a sense of just unbelievable peace, unbelievable peace, and also feeling just totally accepted and totally loved or, or everything is okay or, you know, just, just, it's good just to be here. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad, you know, it's just a, it's just a warm a reassuring, peaceful feeling is all. I mean, I don't know. I don't even know. It's kind of hard to describe it. And it's going to be probably hard for you to describe it to anyone but yourself when you have that, when you have that experience. And I'm sure that probably most of us, most of you have had it. Sometimes we take it for granted. Sometimes we pass over it or, you know, it's just sometimes it's so quick or whatever. But, but when you, when you get the opportunity to ex have that experience, try to help, try to prolong it. Try to stay there and relax and, and, and enjoy the sensation, enjoy the feelings, enjoy the peace, enjoy the quiet um, for as long as you can, you know, and, and, and make a practice of this. Do this, you know, every day if you can, or, you know, do it, do, do it, do it often. Do it as often as you possibly can, because when you, what you'll find is it will set Connection will strengthen and your ability to connect whenever you want to or feel like you need to will also um, be easier and faster for you to do. And, you'll, and again, you, once, you, once you get yourself in that 
peaceful for me. It is, it is a peace that surpasses understanding sometimes. It's like, it's just kind of an, it's just quiet and un, almost, it's just, an, it's just, it's just nothing that I could put a word to. Okay. Nothing I could put a word to. I just sit and I just really enjoy it. I express and receive love. I express and receive light. It's, um, it's just, it's just a per great time to just a total acceptance, total acceptance and, and a love that, again, goes without, expl uh, without words of, ex of ex explanation. So relax, get rid of the, you know, the chatter in your mind, concentrate on your breathing maybe to get it, kind of get, you, get yourself anchored in the now, count sounds or feelings or sensations that you might have in your body and just wait. And then once you've made that connection, I let you to talk, you know, talk, share, share the love, feel the love that you receive, but love back, love back too, love that, love that self back too. You know, it, it, it's, um, it's you, it's part, it's you, it's, 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 that it's sat there and it's observed you and it observes you all all the time. And now you recognize it. You recognize that piece of you, that part of you that is connected to to the divine, connected to to eternity. And when you really start when you really stop and really think about what it really is and what what it will afford you, what it allows you, it's um again you kind of get, you'll get kind of excited and you'll, you know, kind of want to start jumping in and, and, and asking questions and, and, and waiting to hear, hear answers back. But take your time, take your time. Get, if it's something that you've, you haven't had the experience before or it's a long time between time, enjoy it. Because, I mean, to have a piece that, you know, just goes beyond explanation, who can't, who cannot love and deserve and feel like, you know, give me a, because I mean, we get, we, we are in such a crazy up and down, so uncertain kind of world. Everything is, I mean, things happen at the, you know, just from, from one wrong to the next wrong to, you know, the next disaster to the next emergency, you know, worrying about this, got to go here. You know, this person's, you know, you got stuff going on all the time and to just have a quiet moment with God self, your God self without a worry or care in the world and knowing that everything is going to be okay. That's, that's good therapy. You know, that's a, you know, that's like people pay therapists to help them get to that point, but you can, you can actually do it on your own just by again, quieting yourself and centering yourself in the nail, shutting out the chatter of the, of ego and all the worries and the thoughts and staying anchored in the, in, in nail. And just wait, because it's waiting, it's waiting for you. God and that self is waiting for you to acknowledge and to recognize and to become aware that here I am, here I am, Jean, here I am, Virginia, here I am, Linda, I've been waiting for you. And ah, you finally got here. And, and, and you know, just enjoy the love that you're gonna receive from that, that connection. The, the joy that you're going to see, receive from that connection, the assurance and the peace that you're going to receive from, enjoy it. If you, if it, when it happens, just enjoy it. Enjoy it. Thank it. You know, be, be gracious. Be, you know, express your gratitude. Express your, express your thankfulness. Appreciate it. Just love, love, love on God like God loves on us. You know, just it's a two way, it's a two way street here. You know, love, receive love, get love. Because once you make that connection, it is a given. It's a two way. You get it, you receive it. You receive it, you give it, and it's go back and forth. So that's the that's what that's the making the connection. Now, once you once you get in a practice of, and again, practice it. It may, you know, if, if it happens, if it don't happen the first time, you know, you know, try it again and do it again and do it again until you make the connection. And I promise you, if you intend, if you make that, set that intention in your mind that I am going to connect with my higher self, maybe I, maybe I, I've never done it before. Maybe I've never really experienced that peace that Jean's talking about or that love or that joy or that bliss. 
I just, just for just for five minutes or three minutes or whatever, I just, I want it. Tell yourself that. Put that out there to universe. Put that out there to higher self. Put that out there to God, the divine, who, whomever. Put it out there and I promise you, God wants to connect with us. <laughs> Probably more than we want to connect with God and, and our higher self. They, we, they want, they, our higher self is God. That God self of us wants to connect with us, wants to be acknowledged, wants to express love and receive love, teach us things that we didn't, that we may not know or may, may need to know that would be helpful to us, guide us, in the, guide us into the lives of, of joy and happiness and peace, you know, help us overcome obstacles that are, that are, that are setting up our, our progress and our success in our lives and, and get us to get us to the place and get us to the, get us to the places and the things that we were destined and created to, to experience and to be. That's, that's, that's what higher self, that's what God is for. That's what God is for us. That's what he, God has for us. And uh, connecting, making that connection with your higher self gets you closer to that bliss and that, that destiny, that life that you were destined and you were incarnated, you came here to live and experience. So once you make that connection, and again, it takes practice, but you got to get there. I promise you, you've practiced enough. You got to get there. But when you do get, when you finally make the connection again, make sure always, always express, express the love, express appreciation. Thank God for just being and for your allowing you to be um, connected, to be one with, with God and, and, uh, and appreciate it and you know, try to get absolutely every piece of the joy, every piece of the bliss you can out of, out of every time, absolutely every time you make that connection. Make sure that you, um, you do. Now, somebody, someone's asking me, well, how do you know you're connected? Trust me, you will know when you're connected. Because like I said, it's going to be a piece that, or a, a sensation or something that's going to happen to you. It's going to take you out of the worries and the conflicts and all the craziness that we have to deal with going to be you're going to feel like you're a bazillion miles away from it it's going to be so separate from you that it's it's like you're not even going to remember it it's going to you you will know you will definitely know and when it happens again just enjoy it enjoy you know if it's a if it's a if it's a sensation that you know, and it, for me, sometimes it warms, you know, you just, this warm sensation goes all over you. Or sometimes an, a cool, just a coolness comes over you. It's, and it's a calm and you just, you, you, all of a sudden, you know how you, you if, you, you're, if you're like me, sometimes you're sitting at home alone and you, you the background noise of the refrigerator or the, or the freezer or whatever is going. And you don't even notice it until, it's, until it stops. Well, it gets so, it's, such, it's like you're in a vacuum just you and your higher self, you and God are just, just, you, just you and everything else is blocked out and you are in that present moment and uh, in bliss, in bliss with your creator, with your maker. And at that time, that's when you get to, if you know, once you guys get to be real good, but, and, and that's when the guidance come and that's when you can ask questions and you can receive and you receive from, uh, receive, receive help, receive guidance. You can ask whatever you want to ask, and you can wait for the answer. Sometimes it comes right away. Sometimes it comes, you know, tomorrow or the next day or, or later, or or sometimes it comes in, in just just out of nowhere, you know. Oh, you know that was the. But but always know that the answers, whatever you ask of your higher self, or whatever you ask of God self, it's gonna you're gonna get the answer. You're gonna you're gonna get the guidance, whatever it, whatever it is that you seek, you're going to receive and you're going to get it and understand it. Go into, uh, go into this relationship with your higher self, knowing that, knowing that um, there's nothing that God or your higher self wants to withhold from you. They want you to have the love, the light, the understanding, the knowledge, the knowing, whatever it is that will make your life, that will make your life f full, prosperous, uh, this thing that you want and and to want in your life, the, the, what you want, whatever it is you want to create and you want to manifest it, 
that that's you know the God wants to, God wants to provide it for you. Your higher self, that source God, that God self wants to see that you get it and want to see that you understand. You're gonna ask what you're gonna ask for guidance of absolutely anything. It's your relationship with your higher self is the most intimate and the most it's the closest relationship that you will ever have with anything, anybody, or whatever. That is it. And hold your secrets. Knows all your secrets, knows your past, knows your future, knows absolutely everything there is to know about you. Knows know what gets you going, knows what 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 the routes that you need to take to get to where you where where you're destined to go, where you're where where you were where you were created to go. And it also will help you just just have, you know, just enjoy your life like you want to enjoy it, you know. You know, why it help you see things Help you understand things in a different in a different perspective. You know, I see it this way. Well, I can't seem to get over this. I can't seem to understand or or get beyond a, a, a certain situation. Well, that connection and that 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 uh, connection with your higher self will help you understand and, and and overcome obstacles in your life. Just totally can kind of. Ask and seek anything. So something that I always try to do when I'm, uh, I really wish this was a two, this was a class in person because I, I, I would love to hear, uh, you know, so because I know, I know other folks have probably have some of the same some similar experiences that I have, but we're not. So but I'm gonna just kind of wing it here. But one is something that I always make sure that I do when I'm, um, when I'm practicing this and when I'm deliberately going in to seek a. Um, you know, a connection with my higher self to come have that fellowship with my higher self is I always keep a pen and paper with me. I always sit, I always have a pad with me. And because sometimes, you know, I want to, I just want to receive. I just want to listen. I don't really want to, I don't really have anything I want to say other than I love you. And I appreciate, you know, just, just being my being and, 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 and being a part of, of you and, and you a part of me. I just want to just be there but sometimes I do. Sometimes I want to hear. I want you to. I want to, you to. I want my higher self to speak into me. Speak something into me. Speak an understanding into me. Just share whatever. So I'll tell. I'll. I'll just sometimes have a pad and 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 I'll you know start a conversation or ask a question and and I'll, and I'll wait for a response. And sometimes it flows. Sometimes it flows just in my writing. Um, it's that creative ability, that creative power, that's a, that's that connection with my higher self, that that has that two way flow. But sometimes I just like to just sit and talk, you know, or just that's and that that's praying. I just pray and 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 dump all my problems on on my higher self, or or just express whatever it is is on my heart. Just express it to to my higher self, and I can sense that presence just just listening, just receiving. With love and understanding and and empathy and compassion and no judging, no judging me or no making me feel like you know that I did something wrong or or whatever and 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 then I can quietly sometimes still receive an understanding or an, or a different perspective to some of my the situations that's been bothering me or that's been hounding me or that's kind of kept me um, trapped or in a in a in a in a funk or whatever. So we pray, we talk, we speak to ourselves, we speak to our higher self, we talk to God. We meditate, we wait, and we listen, and we receive from God, we receive from our higher self. And I say God because that it is, it is our God self. It's that part of us that's connected to God at all times. Whether we, whether, whether we acknowledge it or aware of it or not, but it's always connected to God. So it's our God self. So we get an opportunity to have that two-way conversation. The observer sits and waits patiently for us to acknowledge and to become aware of its existence, its being. Once we've done that, we've made that connection, then we can exchange and we can communicate and we can uh, talk and receive and, and, and also give. So we learn to love and we learn to love and we learn to receive love through that relationship with our higher self. And I think, I, I think I've always I've, I've try, always tried to make it a point to, to help you understand that the connection, our relationship with our higher self is the foundation. It's the foundation relationship of any and all other relationships. We 
love ourselves. We love ourselves and we can love others only because we love ourselves. Only because we receive the love, the God love from our higher self that we're able to exchange and, and share that love abroad to our other connections and the other relationships that we have. So cultivate that intimate relationship with your higher self. Learn how to connect with yourself. Learn how to meditate. Learn how to sit quietly and know that you're being observed and acknowledge that observer and appreciate that observer because that observer ensures that you will never live one day of your life alone. Not one day are you alone. Not one day are you separate. Are you an island sitting out by yourself? You are always connected to God and God's self. And that higher self assures, helps you, help, help assure you of that. Insure, that's your insurance. That's your assurance that you are never alone. You're never without. You just have to acknowledge higher self. Acknowledge that, that part of you, that piece of you that is always, always and forever connected to God. Now, again, I'm going to, let me, I'm, I have to throw this out. I have to throw this out because I, ego just mentioned something to me. Yes. Ego. Sometimes you have to be careful because sometimes you, that's <laughs> our intuition and our higher self, that observer, uh, you know, it's ego kind of, ego can be a little subtle sometimes and, and kind of make you think that, oh, was that ego or was that higher self? Well, let me tell you about ego. Ego can only deal. Ego does not, does not deal very well in the future, okay? Ego does that. Now, higher self knows our, our total existence from the beginning to the end and forevermore. But ego can only deal in the past and the present, right? So when you're, when you're, when you're receiving those, um, when, you're asking, when you're asking for advice or you're receiving guidance, one way you can one one thing you can be watchful of because ego will try to interject some ideas and thoughts into your into your quiet you know your that quiet time that you have and pretty you know ego might pop up and and and, and shoot a thought or an idea or, or ask you something or tell you something, but if it's anything that's grounded in the past, if there's something that's a, a, it's reasonably something that's reasoned out from something that passed, trust me, it's definitely ego. Uh, so be very cautious. I think I'm going to have to spend some time talking about ego. We need to probably talk about um, how we can tell the difference between the voice of the higher self and the voice of ego because they are very distinct, uh, but they can be subtle too because, uh, you know, poor ego likes to be, ego does not like to be ignored. Uh, ego likes to, uh, you know, do what you're doing and, you know, are you doing it right and, you know, and ego, we love ego. You know, you know, we're not trying to toss ego out or anything because we need ego to exist in, in the in the in the physical, in the physical realm. But ego knows nothing about the future, so we, you know, ego has a has a has a limited job, <laughs> I say. But we will. I'm gonna have to spend some time talking about ego so we can figure, so we can understand the difference between the voice of ego and the voice of the higher self because sometimes. Uh, until we really get familiar with that sensation and that feeling and that imp those impressions that we that we get from higher self, from intuition, those nudges, um, we will we can mistake it for ego. Ego ego can do a job on us. So we'll have. To, I'm gonna plan. I plan that for some some of because that's a, that's a creative power too. You know, it's one of our creative powers. Ego is ego is a yeah. Ego has a purpose, but we when. We have to be cautious. We have to be a little careful until we get very familiar with that, uh, the voice of our, our intuition and that recognizing uh, the difference between ego and, and our higher self, recognizing that voice. So, again, I just want to remind you that you can remember, you can ask and you can say, you can just be as open as you want to be as free as you want to be, no, no judgment. There's no, there's no out of bounds for, for your higher self. Absolutely any and everything that you want to know or you want to share, you can share with, uh, 
with your high, your God self, your higher self. And no judgment, none at all. I just, I basically want to suggest that you just be open, be as open and be open, just be open and, and understand that there is no specific right or wrong way to do any of this or any of the connecting, making the connection or sitting or having the communication, talking to your, talking and, and having that communication, that sharing time with your, your higher self. There's no, it's your way. It's just your way. And, and uh, you know, you guys, you decide, you decide how and what you want to, what you want to say and how you want to communicate and how you want to express yourself. And if you want to cry, if you want to laugh, whatever, you know, but be open and don't be tied to a specific, you know, I'm, I gave you some suggestions, but there are a lot of other ways as well. And uh, I'll, I'm going to probably talk a little bit more about meditation because meditation is one of the keys, one of the, one of the main ones to do it. And then there's so many different ways to meditate, to get, to open, you know, to open, open yourself up to receive and to recognize and to, and to have that connection and, and that, that communicate, that communion with your higher self. So we'll talk a little bit more about that probably next week. Um, we'll do, we'll, we'll kind of go a little bit. I'll get, maybe give you some, um, a couple of meditations or that I can, I can kind of share with you to, to, um, to kind of help you, um, uh, with the, with the connection as well. Um, one of the things that is really helpful to understand is that, because the vibration, love, love and, and forgiveness and, and, and um, gratitude, being grateful and thankful, those are, the, those are the higher energy, the higher vibrational emotions and, and feelings and thoughts that we have. Those are the things that draw and anchor us, ground us, and it draws the light and the love toward us. That uh, magnetizes, you know, the more we can love and the more we can express love and the more we can express gratitude and thankfulness, that's an up, that's a, another way to ground that love because it's always coming. It's always, it's always there. Well, you know, God is, God's love is always available and your higher self, you know, love is always available to you. But sometimes we're just not prepared. We're not ready. We're not focused. We're not we haven't placed ourselves in a, in a, in a, in a grounded ourselves or anchored ourselves in a, in a way that we can receive it. We're just scattered and busy and, and all over the place. But love, expressing love and expressing gratitude. I say that when you're sitting and you're, you're quieting yourself and you've got your thoughts, the best thing you can do is just feel, feel the love and the light. Feel that energy of love and light surrounding you and just imagine yourself just just surrounded and, and, and cradled in, in love and light and and express it you know just be thankful just open your heart for thankfulness and and gratitude and and, and just being gracious and and express it be open with it and that again draws that it's always like it draws that it draws the attention of your higher self to you and can I kind of get a little closer to see what it is? What is it that she's think she's grateful for? What is it that she's ex what is this love that she's that I'm that that you know that's flowing my way? You know this because it is a two way flow. So if you if you get there and you kind of like, well, what do I do? Just express express love. Ex be loving. Be thankful. Be grateful. You know, just I just identify and pour it out. Open yourself up to it. Pour it out and open yourself up to it. And love comes back. You love, it comes back. You be grateful, it comes back. Uh, you can't, I said, they, there's an old saying that the old folks say, you can't out love, you can't out love God. You can't outdo God. So you do, you, you love a little bit and, and a whole bunch of love comes back to you. So if you kind of get stuck sometimes and you, and you just, what do I do? Just start just thinking of, Reasons to be grateful. I'm thankful for whatever, and just rattle them off. One, it don't have to be anything big. It could be little, just little small things. Just start, start being grateful and, and, and expressing your gratitude 
to God, to, to your higher self, to life, just to yourself. You're grateful for whatever, what, you know, just, and those are, that's a, another way to kind of ground and embody that existence, uh, that, that the being of your higher self. Because basically that's what you are. You are, it's you, it's all, it's all you. And that's uh, your, it's, and once your consciousness, you know, you bring your consciousness and awareness to that, just, just step into that, step into the love and into the light and, 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 you are connected to divine at that point and and tr and fill it and enjoy it and and ex and expect it and and it happens and it <laughs> it it will it it, it flows it flows to you and you flows back and it flows a two way flow i wish that um i wish that i had the words sometimes to just express it but they don't come too easy it's a, it's a, it's just an experience that you have that you have to have, you have to have to even understand it. And I know, and again, I, I feel, I feel like I'm speaking to the choir, and I know that a lot of you probably have, probably could probably teach me a thing or two. But if you have not, if you have not, I'm just gonna, my, my hope and my prayer for you is that you get to a place where you can have that experience, experience that. The high, your higher self, that connection with your higher self that is connected to the core, to creation, to God. And all, all life flows that way. All life flows from God into us through that connection. And the fullness of the life, the fullness of life, the best of the best of the best of life that we could ever, ever have will have to come from that, that kind of connection. We live, we live half our lives when we fail to make a connection with the divine. I don't even know if it's half. I don't even think it's just a, a small, minute part of life that we have when we, we fail to make that connection with and understanding and, and experiencing the embodiment of that higher self in God. That's our life. That is our that is our eternal being. That is who we are. And experiencing, knowing who we are and experiencing who we are is two totally different things. I could talk to you for days and, to, and tell you, but until you experience it for yourself, they're just words. But when you do, when you finally get and have that experience, it's yours. And again, you probably be like me, you know, like I, I, I can... I, this is what happened, but I don't even know if I could put it in words for you because it's not, it's, there's no words for it. It's an experience. It's no words for it. It's just an experience. And uh, it's yours. It's yours. And my, my desire is for everybody to, to have that connection, to connect with the higher self because that's how, again, that's how we manifest. We create the life that we have. We create the things and the, and the, and, and, all of the experience that we have is through that connection. Those experiences that matter, those experiences that bring us joy, bring us prosperity, bring us happiness, bring us wealth, bring us health, bring us to really to touch eternity, to live, to live that eternal being. This body is a very temporary situation, a very temporary thing, and it's strictly for this plane. But when we think of eternity, that's a long time. That's not a hundred years. I mean, you know, my family lives 80 and 90 years old, you know, but that's just 80 or 90 years. Eternity is a whole lot more than that. And that part of us is what we're connecting to. That part of us, our minds, our ego, all of that is going to be a thing of earth and thing of here when we go on to the, to eternity from here. We, we won't need this. We won't need this body. So connect, I want, I really want to express the importance of connecting with that part of you that lives for a, forever, eternity, forever and ever. And you can have that experience while you are in your, while you have a body, you can still have the experience. And that's what I, that's, that was, that's my desire for you is to have that experience. Next week, I want to talk about um, manifestation, you know, using 
you know, how the, how being connected with your higher self makes you a better manifester, makes you somebody, makes you a, makes you a better co-creator. So we're going to talk a little bit about that, how connecting with your higher self betters or make you a best manifester. That's what we want to talk about next week. Um, join me on Sunday, if you can, uh, for 7 at 7. I'm going to have a, a, just a mini life coach session. And again, if you're interested in, uh, you know, some services for life coaching or want a consultation or just kind of one-on-one, feel free to, you know, message me and I will set something up and um, get you going, get you going with that. And remember, I will be speaking on Sunday at, seven, at uh, 11. If you are in the area of uh, Interfaith Truth Center, stop in, 4791 Austell Road in uh, Austell, Georgia, U.S. of A. You're over there. They have uh, limited seating at that time, but, you know, it's probably room for room enough. We Social distancing, make sure you bring your mask, wear your mask. Or if not, just make sure you tune in. Tune in to the website if you, uh, if you get a chance to. Again... Thanks for joining me for tonight's um, Conscious Creators Toolbox, connecting with your higher self. Make sure that you practice that. Make sure you practice you know, until you get it. Until you make the connection, practice, practice until you get it. And when you get it, hold on to it as long as you can and enjoy it. Receive the love, share the love, go back and forth with it. And then... Talk to, talk to that higher self. Get the guidance for your life. Get the understanding and the know-how. And, and, and the, get, get the instructions for you. Get your map. It's got your map. It's got your map all worked out. That journey that you're on, that, you know, your higher self knows the way. So, you know, make that connection so that you can fulfill the purpose for your life here on earth while you're here. Thanks, guys, for being with me tonight. I will see you uh, next week for the last session of uh, this month, anyway. We're going to uh, one more session. I think we have one more week, so we're going to do the last session next week. And um, in the meantime, manifest best. I will see you guys on Sunday. And be safe. Love you guys. Manifest and connect with your higher self. Just practice until it happens. God bless and take care. Good night.